Okay, let me read. <clears throat> Should oh I wrote this yesterday. Should humanity be saved? Should the current version of humanity be saved? The seventh version. <laughs> there is advanced technology being hidden from most of us. Um what I like to call them surface humans uh, because there, I think there are humans underneath and <laughs> above there are humans under the earth and in above the earth <laughs> surface humans is uh, living in the matrix most of us this tech this technology is in possession of a secret cabal, the people of Antarctica. Now, this is sort of like a kind of positive or, well, I don't know, even I, I don't know if I can call it positive, but let's just say it seems they would like to introduce this technology into the mainstream but are afraid to do so because humans will weaponize it and destroy the planet. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna have to like, I think this is, this goes above the character limit. Let me see if I can get that. I think that's, <laughs> okay. Um, maybe this is why they want to reduce the population and create a one world government to make humans easier to control. Perhaps extraterrestrials, tall whites, uh, so now I'll read about this. Oh, well, I heard that tall whites are, don't like humans and they think humans are like. They have a very, they, they have a very negative view of humans. Right? This is just my theory, one theory. Perhaps extraterrestrial stalwarts convince them that they could only introduce new technology if the cabal can create this one world government and have a lower human population. Given humans' emotional nature, our fear-based programming. I don't think, I mean, this is just one theory, but I think another theory is that either it could be that, uh, this is probably I'm going to talk about in another video, but anyway, it could be that the Atlanteans, the sixth version of humanity, and the Elohim, you know, I think they are managing, directing, the human civilizational project from the shadows. But the people who are preventing disclosure are the corporations because the corporations just want to make money. They don't want to introduce the feed of free energy. And they've, they've convinced people in the government that you have to create a one world government uh, before this uh, technology can be introduced anyway. Maybe the cabal is trying to genetically modify humanity to be more controllable, again, in order to create the conditions for introducing advanced technology to the planet. The ETs may be in charge here. They have the say if and when this advanced technology gets introduced into the mainstream or the corporations are in charge and they are telling the government you'll only introduce the technology or you should you should introduce the technology only if you have the one world government 
only if the people are disarmed you know the gun control <laughs> i think you know the anyway uh, sarah uh, okay regarding time in my previous video uh, time may be regarded as a conscious experience rather than a physical property of the universe so the experience of time from the perspective of a being is the same so the being can be galaxies stars planets humans ants electrons all experience time the same way but things seem slow or fast from different vantage points so for a human the planets move slow from the planet the stars move slow from the stars the galaxies move slow but if you're a galaxy the stars are moving faster than you, the planets are moving faster than the stars, the humans are moving faster than the planets. You know, you know, it's like smaller things move fast from the perspective of bigger things. Something like that. <laughs> this is just my speculation. I think this concept of time being an experience of the of a conscious being might have been suggested somewhere else though i've had this idea of time being different for different size things before okay i am a human i have emotions my emotions might be seen by some species as a liability i believe some of this cabal the people of antarctica this elite look down on humanity even though they are humans I feel angry towards them. What they are doing is wrong. They are treating their own kind badly. They are traitors. They are taken in by their other... Uh, taken in by other ETs with their advanced technology. And, are, and they are selling this planet and their kind out. I despise these people. I have contempt for them. At least the ETs aren't betraying their own kind, but humans being stupid and human folly are succumbing to their worship DNA, are putting these ETs on a pedestal and taking orders. Such foolishness. So this is just like if 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 the uh, the ETs, the extraterrestrials are in charge, maybe the greys. Um, then the humans are just like worshipping them, worshipping the advanced technology and, and, and this tendency to worship gods may be a programming of the human DNA it's like a trait an instinct to worship so we tend to worship beings with advanced technology and I'm, my anger here is that you the cabal you're betraying humanity you're letting these ets push you around why are you doing that but it could be that the ets are not in control and the, and, and it's just corporations humans uh, narrowness greed that's what's in control maybe the ets want this technology to be released but the humans are the corporations the greedy corporations are stopping that Again, speculation, but one of the possible things that could be happening. Regarding extinction or the threat of extinction, it seems going extinct is a, is a not uncommon occurrence in this universe. It seems many civilizations have gone extinct in this galaxy, in the solar system, think Mars, and on this planet, previous humans. If current humans want to survive, they have to learn to control their emotions. This may need a spiritual development and perhaps even a biological genetic enhancement as well. This is NG to all document on repercussions of disclosure. Uh, here's a link. It seems things haven't changed much. They've only made it worse by keep by keeping this a secret. Uh, 
Oh, this is an Edgar, Edgar Casey prediction. Some interesting. The human conundrum. If we want our human civilization to evolve, free energy, advanced medicine, we may have to modify our DNA so we are less prone to emotional outbursts. However, this would make us less emotional. Does this mean make us less human? Can we be human, as emotional as we are, and perhaps prone to fear-based thinking, self-interest, narrow-minded, and still have advanced technology? This is a conundrum. It's been said that the greys are future humans who've genetically modified themselves to the point where they are unemotional and their DNA cannot be cured or fixed. Their species is unable to survive for some reason and are harvesting human DNA to aid their genetic survival. I think the greys, instead of being future humans of time travel back, they could be ancient humans. The greys could be the, the Atlanteans or the civilization before that. They have psychic, uh, uh, you know, they are more psychic and they can control these UFOs. The UFOs are like organic, so they can use mind to, they, they can control the UFOs with their minds. They may be able to use advanced weaponry, you know, energy, well, directed energy weaponry, uh, but using psychic. So I think the greys could be ancient humans, you know, humans from the past. Uh, that's one theory. <laughs> They have been here for a very long time. Uh, could the greys be the previous human Atlantean civilizations who genetically modified themselves into infertility and are creating us to continue the human species? Or maybe another thing, that the, our current human civilization has gotten to where it is because of the control, the direction of previous human civilizations and you can connect that to the Elohim the the ETs who came to earth you know and created humanity out of the DNA of the uh, manipulating the the, the ape-like beings over here from the lesser files so the greys could be our ancient uh, uh, you know ancestors <laughs> But it's about the psychic technology, and I think, um, as you know, I shared a video about the moon, and the moon might be waking up. Uh, what if, like, the moon is responsible for keeping us from evolving our consciousness? You know, like the moon has gravity, the sun has gravity. And the tension of the gravity between the moon and the sun is causing uh, and this is this was uh, is causing that uh, an emotional instability in our brains, which is keeping us always in a state of fight or flight and and this constant emotional imbalance caused by the moon uh, I don't know maybe that's. You know, like a, like I, uh, there was a video I saw where they talked about this, and I think I might have talked about it in the previous video, shared that video. Um, what if, in order to evolve the human civilization, the moon has to be taken off orbit, so the the tension on Earth between the gravity of the moon and the sun is not present, and humans can. Uh, Human, can, human humans are more emotionally stable, you know, and maybe there is technology preventing our our um, psychic capabilities from expressing themselves. The idea is that we are being suppressed, artificially being suppressed by by a non-human intelligence or a cabal to keep us in check or something. Uh, just some thoughts. Um, 
What if the aliens are the Atlanteans, the previous versions of humanity? They could be the Elohim as well, at least some of them, or maybe it's just human remnants of the previous Atlantean civilization. I think the deep state cabal, working in conjunction with these Atlanteans and perhaps some Elohim, are trying to institute a one world government in order to introduce advanced technology, zero point energy, to continue terraforming and developing this planet. Some of the people flying these UFOs might be these Atlanteans. They have been manipulating, controlling the. Di <sighs> and directing the human civilization project from the shadows. Climate change is a psyop used as excuse to create a one world government. The cure may be another ruse to create a one world government. Again, control humanity. Because these guys think humans, you can't give humans advanced technology because they will weaponize it and they will destroy the planet. Maybe this has happened in the past. You know, the, the war between the Elohim and the, maybe the Terran reptilians and these advanced humans with their technologies. You know, maybe previous civilizations have disappeared because of this tendency for humans to be violent. Uh, so this is a problem. Advanced technology, humans, and the end of civilization. How do you manage this?